Well, at what point do the parts of a gun become a gun? That is the central question in a dispute between a local gun parts vendor and the ATF. It sheds light on an industry that you may not know exists, where the parts to build guns are openly traded, allowing complete weapons to be made legally without the requirements of registration or background checks. This is basically what that's going to look like, it's just like that. Despite first impressions, this is not a gun store. It's a gun parts store, and in the eyes of the law, that makes a world of difference. What you've got is an AR-15 that has been built from a 80% lower receiver. This was built by one of our employees down here. This is his personal rifle, and uh, this is 100% legal. 29-year-old Dimitri Karras is the CEO of Ares Armor, with locations in Oceanside and National City. The business specializes in selling all the parts needed to build guns, like the Ares website says, a badass AR-15. So keep in mind, the parts are not just ready for assembly. What that means is the parts that we sell, we make sure that they're not completed to a stage that they would be considered to be a firearm. But in March, they're sledgehammering the safe. As Airy supporters recorded on home video, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives raided Karras' stores, seizing about $300,000 worth of 80% lower receivers. A lower receiver is the heart of a rifle, housing the trigger, magazine, and safety. What you're going to notice is that the trigger control group is not milled out. As Dimitri points out in this YouTube video, an 80% receiver has to be precisely milled out to be made functional. The current dispute is over certain polymer receivers made of reinforced plastic instead of metal and much easier to finish. This polymer receiver is able to be machined with simple Dremel tools. Dimitri says the ATF assumed the part was manufactured as a completed receiver that was later filled in to look like a solid, unfinished piece. Such a process would still qualify it as a gun, something Ares Armor is not licensed to sell. But Dimitri says the ATF misunderstood how the part was made. Instead of it being backfilled, there was a plug that was made first and the rest of the receiver was made around it, which is a very important distinction. The ATF has not responded to numerous calls for an interview. Meanwhile, Dimitri says he was back in business an hour after the agents left, helping his customers legally build their own guns. You're done. You got a weapon. You made it at home yourself. No registration, no serial number. Ian Oceanside, Jim Patton, San Diego 6 News. But there are restrictions should you decide to transfer or sell a homemade weapon that would require licensing and registration. Also, anyone prohibited from owning a gun, such as a convicted felon, is also prohibited from making one. As for the dispute over polymer lower receivers, a court hearing is scheduled for this Thursday and will continue to keep you updated.